Hi, so today I thought I'd do a little crafty vlog to do with Christmas. Every year I love to make paper snowflakes, but there's one thing about them that really bugs me that a lot of people do, and this seems really nitpicky, but I hate it when they are four-sided, which sounds stupid, I know. Snowflakes are hexagonal, not squares. And I just think they look so much better if you know the proper way to fold the paper so that when you unfold it, they become six-sided instead of weird quarters. I'm aware how ridiculous it sounds that I care that much about it, but they just look better, to be honest. So I found this method a few years ago of how to fold your paper so that it will come out as a hexagon rather than as a square. So I'm going to show you that and just have some fun cutting some snowflakes out which I'm gonna probably stick on my window tomorrow so feel free to follow along and do snowflakes the right way <laughs> obviously you're gonna need some paper um, scissors and a pencil if you'd rather sketch out where you'd like to cut before you actually just go for it I prefer to go freeform and see what happens but feel free to sketch it out if you want so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a piece of paper it can be as big or as small as you want as long as you can fold it and you're able to cut it so first of all what we're gonna do is take the piece of paper and fold it in half like this and this is the slightly trickier bit so imagine on your paper actually I'm just gonna sketch it so this is very rough but imagine on your paper this angle here is cut into three pieces like this so one two three they don't have to be super even but if you can kind of judge it so they are that's fine and then what we're going to do is we're going to fold it into thirds so just taking the first corner across like this so it's folded along that line and then i'm just going to do it for the other one as well So it ends up looking like this and you can see I've folded it on both the lines. Then what we're going to do is take our scissors and just cut around here so you can go straight across if you want or do it in an arch, it really doesn't matter and just play around and see how it affects how it turns out. Also something I should have mentioned is it's really useful to have a bin nearby because this makes a lot of mess and a lot of tiny bits of paper that are a devil to pick up. So I've cut across and now I've got a piece of paper that is a bit more circle-like. I usually like to cut a little notch into the middle because then that makes a star in the middle. Have fun around the edges as well. The main thing is, as long as you don't cut all the way down here or here, there, then it should stay in one piece and not fall apart. But don't be scared, it's just paper and just feel free to play around and see what happens and you get some really really cool effects when you just mess around. I'm not very good with scissors so I kind of cut into it randomly but if you are a bit more delicate with that sort of thing then you can do some really really intricate details. At the moment it looks like this, I'm going to keep going for a few more seconds. Okay so now I've finished cutting into my snowflake, it looks like this and let's unfold it and see how it's turned out. Woo! I quite like that and it just makes me happy because it's six sided rather than four sided which looks a bit crap and a bit primary school whereas these are a little bit more scientifically correct if you're that way inclined. So yeah hopefully this has been helpful and you'll try it out and see it's just as easy as doing it the other way and they look a bit better. Have fun, play around and tweet me your snowflakes if you do anything. I'll put my Twitter handle in the box below. If you do any I'd really really love to see them. Have fun!